Good morning. I'd like to talk to you about growing in Christ today. It's important that as newborn believers that we go on to perfection. And what I mean when I say go on to perfection, I'm talking about growing in Christ. You see, it's important for us to understand that once we're baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues as the Spirit of the Lord gives utterance, that we grow on, go on to grow in Christ Jesus. And the way that we grow in Christ Jesus is by working on ourselves, growing in Christ Jesus by reading His Word on a daily basis, and by having a prayer life, developing a prayer life. And that means developing spiritual habits. And one of the ways that we develop spiritual habits is by making sure we spend time in the Word on a daily basis. And you may wonder, why is that a serious thing? Because we have to feed our spirit. And how do we feed our spirit? By reading the Word of God. Because the, the Holy Ghost that's in us will witness with the Spirit that's in the Bible. And it will lead us and guide us into all truth. Because the Word of God is quick and powerful. And it divides asunder the soul and the Spirit. And it gives us guidance and direction in all things that we need to know about. And it also helps us when we're tempted and the enemy will come against us and if we can quote scripture if we learn to memorize scripture so that when he comes against us we can quote scripture and find victory in the word of God and another thing is we can't become stagnant in our growth it's just like a baby when a baby's born we find that if a baby doesn't grow, we know that something's wrong. Either we're not feeding the baby properly, or there's something physically wrong with that baby. And we need to find out what's wrong with that baby. And we have to take it to the doctor. And it's so it is with our spiritual lives. We have to grow. And see, Paul told the Hebrew church... In Hebrews chapter 5, verses 12 and 13, you have need to be teachers, but because you're not feasting on the meat of the word, you have need to go back and study the scriptures yourself, because you can't teach the word because you don't know the word yourselves and it's important for you to know the word so that you can follow people along as they preach and teach the word so that when you hear something you'll know for yourself whether what they're saying is right or wrong because you'll know and the Holy Ghost will tell you because you've been depositing the word of God in your spirit and the Holy Spirit will tell you, no, they misquoted that scripture. Or no, that doesn't seem to line up with what I've read in the Bible. It's important. There are false Christs. There are false teachers who are teaching on the web, teaching on the web and teaching on television who aren't teaching the right scriptures or they're teaching the scriptures and the word of God says they're wrestling the scriptures to their own hurt. And I want you to be aware that it's going to take you, you alone, along with studying and praying and asking God for wisdom, knowledge and understanding to understand his word and understand his ways. Develop a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Talk to Him. Have a communion and a fellowship with Him. Develop a deep, intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. And He will never forsake you. Remember, the Word of God is your road map 
to live on this on this earth while you're passing through remember when you're baptized in jesus name and filled with the holy ghost and you begin your spiritual journey with the lord you need a road map and your road map is the bible it's your instruction manual to help you walk this life and to teach you the things of God, to teach you who Jesus Christ is and what he wants to be in your life and how much he loves you and cares for you and what he wants to do for you. So be blessed today. We'll see you once again in Jesus' name. We love you and we're praying for you. God bless you and have a blessed day in Jesus' name.